Well, Pennsylvania lawmakers are looking to crack down on indoor smoking and vaping in public places. In a group of House Democrats say workers at casinos, private clubs and other venues should not be forced to choose between their paycheck or clean air. Our Pennsylvania State Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon, he's live with the details and how they plan to address that. Brendan. Hey there, Renata and Nick. Good evening. Well, in Pennsylvania, smoking indoors is prohibited in most places, but not all. Today, earlier today in a House Health Committee hearing, we learned more about the impact of secondhand smoke that it has on workers. Fifteen years ago, Pennsylvania banned smoking inside public buildings like hotels and restaurants with the Clean Indoor Air Act. However, there are a few exceptions. When they when they walk into a casino in Pennsylvania, they're just they're hit with that overwhelming stench. Casino worker Michael Dene says employees at casinos, private clubs and some bars are exposed to health risks because of loopholes in the Clean Indoor Air Act. It's every single day, you know, every every single day we go through this. He says encouraging outdoor smoking areas at casinos is healthier and it's been done before. When it came time to smoke, they would step outside and then when they were done, they would step back inside. It's not that difficult. After temporarily closing their doors in 2020, Pennsylvania casinos were able to re open with universal masking and no smoking. But the COVID era policy did not linger. When they reintroduced it after COVID, that was the last straw. House Health Committee Chairman Dan Frankel is looking to put out the smoke and vapor for workers like Danae by creating safe environments with House Bill 1657. Our safe environments for not only patrons, but most importantly, for employees uh, who need these good jobs. Frankel says the bill has three goals. Eliminate loopholes that leave workers exposed to secondhand smoke. Expand the law to cover e-cigarettes to fight increases in vaping related illnesses. And give localities the ability to enact smoke free ordinances that are more protective than state law. Why should somebody have to risk uh, their health uh, in order to maintain and keep uh, a job like that? And now one concern with the legislation is the impact it would have on cigar bars and cigar lounges. Chairman Frankel says in order to gain bipartisan support, lawmakers will have to work together to address those concerns, potentially make some amendments or changes to the bill uh, before it's finalized and receives a full House vote. We'll have many more details on that online, WENY.com. For now, reporting live at the State Capitol for WENY News, I'm Brendan Scanlon, Renata and Nick. Back to you.